Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Alien Isolation. Where we're kind of still trying to get back to our teammate. And to do that, we need to go through the Seekson AI plant. This is the synthetic fluid plant, which I assume is the white stuff that serves as their blood. Lubricant. Whatever have you. I think I see some people. Hmm. I have some interesting things I want to talk about. But it's a little noisy in here. Which is making it really hard to tell if those people are zeroed in on me or not. I think they are. I think I just want to run this. I think running that is just the thing to do. Alright, now that we're out of that, I wanted to talk some more about the AI of this game in regards to the alien. I brought this up a little bit in comments on previous videos because I wanted to go ahead and start opening this topic up. But the AI is incredibly impressive. The more I look into it, the more I'm actually kind of amazed at what they've managed to pull off. The AI in this game is basically split into two parts. And the reason that it's split into two parts is oh, injector. Uh, the designers are trying to balance two competing demands. They want the player to feel under constant threat from the alien when the alien shows up. But not so much to the point where the player can't make any progress. So to that extent, there are two AI systems in place. There is the director AI, which is observing the player's actions and progress throughout the game, and the player's location at all times. And then there's the alien AI itself, which is a completely separate system. All right, what's on this computer? All right, personal synthetic engineer request. Can I get someone from Seekson Synthetics to look at my Android? I've just worked a 24 hour shift helping out with trauma patients and I'm the dentist. Waits once every one of them moved out of the hospital and no one is telling me anything. If I'm gonna be pulling down these kinds of hours, I need some extra help. We've got an Android down here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's been gathering dust because apparently the same models started acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell is going on with this place? Get someone down here before I file an official complaint. Fernandez. Error, cannot send, audio, cannot access file, utility, invalid argument. Okay, so there's the director AI and the alien AI. The director AI does nothing directly with the player at all. In fact, I'm 90% sure that it doesn't even direct the humans or the androids. The director AI is just an observer. But its role is incredibly critical because what it needs to be able to do is it needs to be able to control the actions of the alien. The alien AI is a fairly sophisticated behavioral tree that is guided by, from what I understand, over 100 nodes in a behavioral tree telling it which actions it to perform at any one time. And... As far as at the top level... What the hell? 
I thought I, the way that was angled, I thought it was looking for a collision. Um, at the top level, it has 30 behaviors that it will constantly cycle through before it goes deeper into its, uh, into its tree. The director AI is responsible for giving the alien clues, just clues, where the player can be. I'm gonna have to fight this out. I feel like I'm gonna have to fight this out. It will never tell the alien directly where the player is. Not once. It will not allow the alien to cheat because that is unfair to the player. And the goal of the game is to let the player make progress and win. But it will provide clues onto where the alien should look. And it will direct the alien to where the player could be. At that point, it's up to the alien to use its behaviors, its sensors, and its its um its uh, behavior tree to find the player organically. There are a few more things that are in the game to help the alien. There are, and these were added manually by the developers. There are specific nodes that the alien is drawn to and will continually inspect. There are areas of the game that the player, the, uh, the director, or uh, um, the developers have specifically done specifically done to make the alien patrol and inspect and hunt in those areas. Hunt for the player especially. There are also areas that the alien is um, that the alien will ignore. They have set up an alternative style of node so that the alien will ignore certain locations in case the player gets caught out in a bad situation. The alien will not see them there. It will not inspect them for them there. That's incredibly cool. Especially like, you know, knowing that... I'm gonna have to fight this out. Knowing that, you know, the game doesn't let... let the alien cheat. It just doesn't. The game wants the player to win. Alright, first human kill. No, no, no. What was that? There we go. But yeah, like, no, that is amazing i can only imagine the technical difficulties that that caused the alien itself is actually pretty impressive too um the alien technically has eyes in the back of its head Oh, okay, that was the same room. Alright. Like, you can't sneak up behind the alien. It will be able to sense your footsteps if you're walking or running within a certain distance. And if you're, it's even closer to you, it will be able to sense your motion detector within like 1.5 meters of itself. But, you know, it's a big model and the, and, um... Obviously, the programmers didn't want the players to just, like, walk behind it. You know, outwit it by walking behind it. On the alien's tail, up and down the tail, there are short-range vectors that are there specifically to tell the alien if the player is behind it. 
They didn't ignore that part. They didn't ignore that potential threat. Like, there is a ton of work that went into programming the alien. I can only imagine. But again, the alien never cheats. It never cheats. You either outwit the alien or it outwits you. It's all about how sneaky the player is compared to the alien. Now, as you go up in higher difficulties, you have fewer tools to outwit the alien and the alien gets smarter. Like, I think a nightmare difficulty, which they, they uh, that was a post-release bonus. Like, you don't get a motion tracker. It's broken. You do not, there's a few other things that like, you don't get. But like, the big one is the motion tracker is just broken. You don't get to use it. No power. Okay, so I'm gonna have to restore power. And of course, the aliens smashed uh, faster and smarter and more lethal and all that fun stuff. But the alien doesn't, like... The alien doesn't tell... Did I make it all the way through? Is that it? I think that's it! Uh, the alien doesn't... Wow, that's kind of anticlimactic. Um... The alien doesn't do things like teleport. There's only, like two times that the alien teleports and that's just so it can be in position for a cutscene and that's it like it doesn't teleport around the game doesn't give your position away again you have to out with the alien and that means that like you can play through this game and have with two two runs and have two completely different experiences when it comes to dealing with the alien. You know, I picked this game up, I wasn't like really big on on the alien franchise. I just picked it up because like it's kind of on a whim. And yeah, it, it's having I'm it's fun. I'm enjoying it. It took longer for me to grow or it took longer to grow on me than uh the evil within too. It definitely did that. But I can't help but be just completely astounded at all the work, all the work of uh, of the game, of the programmers and the AI. It's amazing. Am I coming in where I think I am? No, no, I thought it was, I thought it was back there. Is that the alien, or is that just the space station dying? Uh... Staff entrance? Hmm. Did that go that way? I guess I ha I guess I would have to. It's been so long since I've been in this area. I guess I would have to. God, it's been forever since I've been in this area. Oh. Okay, use security access. You know what? Screw it. It's a loading screen. I want to see where we pop out with the staff elevator. Like, I'm wondering if that's gonna put me um, where that doctor died, because I can go get some of his stuff. Yeah, let's try this. But anyway, I, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I'm definitely looking forward to finishing it. It's not quite the experience that I was looking for but the alien sections are a lot of fun and that's why I was so curious about how the AI works okay I was supposed to come here 
Was I? Was I supposed to come here? I'm really confused. I don't think so. I'm kind of curious about what's here. Wait, this. Yeah, this is this is how. Yeah, this is how I got inside the hospital. Okay. So, no, I'm actually, it actually looks like I'm pretty fairly solidly locked out, because not even that vent's opening anymore. Okay. Back to what we were doing. Ripley is not a violet person, but she will defend herself as she needs to. I really expected more from the Siegson plant. I really expected, like, to be fighting androids there. In fact, it feels like it's been a while since we've seen one. Which isn't as encouraging as you think it might be. When was the last time we did see an android? Um, before the hospital. Yeah, last time we saw an android, a hostile android, uh, that was escaping the communications. That's exactly where it was. God damn it. Stupid thing. Man, this place looks like crap. Alright, I don't have a plasma torch, so I'm clearly not going that way. Where did you go, buddies? Where did you go? Restore power. Didn't I look around and see if I could find a rewire thing? Also, I'm like really astounded that she's probably not dead. Yeah, I don't see a rewire thing. So I don't know how I'm supposed to restore power to that. I guess I can't do it yet. No, oh, cutscene. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be. Hey! Identify yourself. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlowe, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. Seeing as you screwed up the trap. Yeah, thanks yeah, for right. that, we'll by the way. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone, understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. Do I need to do something with you? You're right, Ripley. Peach. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about right. We really right. should hurry. Taylor. Yeah. Don't worry, Samuels. We'll get her out of here. I know. I have to do all the goddamn shit. Alright, this way. Transit is upstairs. You go fix it. I already love you, Marshall. You're just 
absolutely wonderful to be around. Okay. Is that? No. It's over there. It's over here. Isn't this the door I kind of opened without power? That fucking lied to me. They fucking lied to me. How rude. On the other hand, not having to load another area means this probably isn't going to be a huge errand. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Kitty. Kitty is so soft and so sweet. And she is a little fuzzy puddle. Sound asleep. What do we got going on here? Uh, the fuck? Do I want to know what's behind there? Oh, good. I have a feeling I know exactly what's behind there. It's not gonna be the alien. The alien can travel through vents. Speaking of which, any vents? No, I don't think so. No, I think that is very much androids. Oh, I'll take that scrap. Um. What's that weird noise? Before I do the obvious thing and boot everything up, which will let that android in here. Speaking of which, is, how many is there? Can the motion detector even tell me? I'm gonna look around for goodies. Speaking of goodies, flashbang V2. And what do we got over here? Gas torch required, okay. Yeah, it looks like just the one. At least that's the only one that's active right now. Alright, let's see. Anything else in here worth picking up? I don't see any more glowies. I haven't seen an ID tag in a while. One of those things where I'm like, am I going to go back and get all of them or not? I'm thinking it probably depends on how much backtracking that's going to be. If it's going to be something like, I can just go through the station and pick it up because I'm not going to have to worry about the alien or anything. Someone shut everything off. Then I might, but if it's going to be kind of involved Hello? in that not. I know someone's in here. Okay, so there's an android and a human. <coughs> right, what are you doing? I went to a lot of trouble to secure this place. How do I get off this wreck? If you're not gonna kill me, I'll tell you. You're not going anywhere. What was that? 
Oh, crap. Well, that didn't work. Alright, so you're just gonna make me probably shoot you straight up. Uh, actually, I think there's a thing, although, uh, you know, I've I've completely missed, missed the boat on this. I think if there's an achievement, if you can get through the entire game without killing a human, which I assume means melee knocks him out. Because it feels like otherwise there's not going to be a choice to get through some areas. Whoop. Yeah, he went through a lot of trouble to secure this place, you asshole. Kind of fucked me over. Can I pick up this axe? I really would love that axe. Girls go crazy for axe. Uh, spoilers, by the way, girls do not actually go crazy for axe. In fact, if you drown yourself in axe, it's actually a pretty effective woman repellent. Because women tend to not want men that smell like axe and stale gym socks. Just a uh, FYI there. Just an FYI. The commercials lied to you. I mean, the thing is, it's like, you should definitely smell nice. Always try to do your best to smell nice. The problem with axe is it's way too strong. People usually drown themselves in it. And, um... Usually they wear two or three different scents, and it clashes like hell. And so, like... You put all those together and you just get this really, really cloying, I guess this is the best word, cloying, powerful fragrance that kind of turns people's stomach because it's so strong. Someone shut everything off. I know someone's in here. Calm down in there, you android fuck. Okay. This turned into a nightmare real quick. I assume there's a lever on the other side. Last time I trust anyone on this tin can. Where are you at, buddy? I went to a lot of trouble to secure this place. You know what? I'm probably just gonna kill you. Where are you? I don't know where the hell you are. I probably have a motion tracker I could use. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. I'm sorry that your last moment's gonna be a sad one, but one of us has to live. Wow, holy shit, look at that blood splatter. Holy damn. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, uh, let's see here. I have some things that I can m maybe make. That is not one of them. That's disappointing. Okay, so I need to... I need to... 
turn on all the levers? Or what's over here? Perfect. Excellent typing. No, I would I would rather not. Really rather not. Could you like eat my entire penis? No you don't. from you because you're trying to kill me well that's creepy all right running away Thank you. Ooh, you were you were getting drunk, huh? Okay. So that only took three bullets and a stun baton. I will kind of accept that. I can make another med kit. Facts. Maybe I want to make another one. Cause I'm actually kind of maxed out on, on a lot of those components. And I think that means I can pick up some of the stuff that this guy had. No, I can get the bonding agent. I can't get the blasting cap. What the hell are you doing in here? Like scrap. Terminal. Double crossed. Oh no, hang on a second. I hear something. Holy crap! Alright, we'll deal with that in a minute. Damn, the android. Those are guts. Android fucking murdered everybody. Look at this shit. Can I make. Oh my god, really? That is the slowest reload ever. I can make another Molotov. Let's do that. Click, 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 click. That takes all the compound B, all my ethanol, and the blasting cap. Which, now I can go get that. Uh, yeah, this actually kind of feels like the progress. Yeah, this is fried, because why wouldn't it be? Alright, use the medkit. Stab myself. Oh, that's the good shit! Alright, give me your stuff. Oh, that's the good shit! Suck it, Kill, you Bush League superfood. You get that reference. You are a good viewer. Not that it's in my line, but you probably know where it's from. Alright, personal, restart transit. Listen, you crazy bastard, you think that thing gets around in a fucking transit car? You're sitting on an override that will disconnect the transit from Apollo, so fucking pull it. You can stop all this bullshit just by pulling a lever. You think you're safer with the transit powered down, but we're trapped like rats. For God's sake, help us! 
Got a heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing in with Sinclair and the Sinks and security guys. I told them it was you that killed Morrison. If they see you, they'll shoot on sight. You should have let me join you in your bolt hole. You won't last a week. Wow. What the fuck happened in here? Well, bullets. I will happily accept those. Ah, hey! An upgrade! Yay! Finally! We can cut our way through shit. Alright, yeah, this is a good time to save. Yeah, save it. Haven't seen the alien in a while. Starting to suspect that we're gonna see him. Especially since, you know. They're already talking about him. And of course, we can't take the easy way back. Why the hell would we? Alright, use the gas torch. Hopefully, I don't run out of gas. SL, they cut the panel. So it's basically a predetermined path, but you go faster if you go in the right direction. Otherwise, it slows down a little bit. There we go. And make a neat little cut. Yeah, I'm sure this isn't hot as hell. Although, technically, it might not be. It might not be. Like, that amount of heat, even though it was enough to cut through, like, this metal's thick enough where it may not have been able to transfer that heat quite fast enough if we were quick about it. Either way, like, I probably wouldn't trust my hands. Ripley, this is Waits. The transit's here and we're waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor oh. can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. Alright, sure. Sure, I'm definitely gonna be running into the alien then. Especially in the fucking dark. Awesome. Can't wait for this. Although I do have Molotovs, to be fair. Maybe I should pull them out. That's a pipe bomb. Actually, let's craft one of those. I can make those. And this pipe bomb is an explosive device which detonates on impact as lethal to humans and non-industrial synthetics in close proximity when placed as an explosive trap it will trigger when enemies are near. Ooh. Yeah, make that. Alright, Molotov me, please. Maybe I want to bring out something that's not a lot- okay. Alright, that's anticlimactic. Guys, it's Sinclair. We need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators. Plan is to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive. There's no room for pity. Hmm. Boop. Wait, isn't this? But then it's not gonna take me long to get back. I'm right here. Anything good? Just air purification. I think if you turn that 
on or off, it makes it smoky and harder for enemies to see you. Ripley, we heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. Fantastic, then. going habitation tower hey we can do this yeah that's what I thought Wonder if I could just He's found a better site to rape. hide in here. Or a way off this fuck heap. That well, today's the day we finally seal ourselves into the habitation box. Well, they all have guns. Okay, so... Come on, someone will send help soon. Let's go find Sinclair. No way we should be splitting up. Safety in numbers. Not even sure of that anymore. That thing is unstoppable. Give me one clear shot. I'll stop the fucker. Hmm. Friend said he saw him. So some people get away. So that was easy. That was super easy. Wow, I expected that to be much more difficult. Okie dokie, cool. So technically, like, I didn't need to kill three humans so far. I just kind of did to make it easier for me. I feel like if you came through this on an easy difficulty and you really tried, you could pull off that uh, that achievement where you don't kill any humans. Which is funny because when I, if I remember right, it's actually kind of a rare trophy, but whatever. All right, regroup with Samuels, Taylor, and the Marshals. How easy is that gonna be? Go to Colonel Marshall Bureau. Station serving the Solomon's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshall Bureau, and seeks inhabitation suites. Alright, sure, let's save my game, save my game. Yeah, let's have right. Actually, you know... Eh, let's go ahead and call it an episode here. Thanks so much for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.